I just finished my second gesture drawing of the week. Today is Tuesday, July 13, and I started off with two minute poses, and as you can see, they're very scratchy, sketchy, and even though I have the pose down, I feel like I could have exaggerated a bit more, and even with two minutes, which is quite long for a gesture drawing, I think I, I think I just need to not think. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I need to just relax and um, figure out how to simplify. uneasy in this session than the previous session. I think I was also a little bit mentally tired and exhausted so these didn't turn out as quite as what I wanted but uh, I think I did okay. I definitely know that I probably should have, this would probably be better if I stuck with a facial I guess structure method like um, like the Loomis method, but instead I didn't do that. I, d I did not do that at all. As you can see on Monday, this is what I had for my session and I went very, I'm very heavy handed. So I need to practice become, I need to practice become looser. Yeah, so next time I'm going to try to give myself more of a structure um definitely try to hopefully tomorrow though i'll be more um looser and free i think today i didn't feel as great as i did yesterday in terms of like energy wise and men mentality wise i was just very a little bit exhausted let's um i'm going to take a break now and we'll come back tomorrow to work on the same things again and we're going to compare again what i've achieved tomorrow okay bye see you tomorrow happy hump day everyone today is wednesday july 14th and we're just gonna go right into it. You know the drills. just finished my gesture drawing practice session and I'm not gonna lie it was very stressful it was so stressful um, I think I would have to do some research and study gesture drawings and um, I think what's hard for me is also because I'm not very familiar with anatomy like I have not really studied anatomy so it was really hard for me to find like a shorthand way of drawing the hands and the feet and the torso because I don't know what it looks like. I don't know. I just try to draw it um, 
based on what makes sense for me but also what I see on my screen, what the other artist is doing. But I honestly struggled with it because I do not know anatomy. So I think if you're gonna do gesture drawings, study anatomy is in conjunction is a really great idea. But if not, it's still fine. You can still do gesture drawings, but just know that it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. It's Friday and that doesn't mean anything to me now because I'm doing the same thing every day but I just finished my gesture drawings and um, this is from Thursday yes so this is from Thursday and you can see from my 30 seconds I, I did okay I um didn't finish on every single piece and I um, but I still get the pose down you can still kind of see what the poses are um, today for 30 seconds I still couldn't finish the piece at all so I think I just need to really kick myself to draw faster today I definitely felt really relaxed even on the two minute poses, I struggled to even finish. So I went slower today than yesterday. I think I deproved. Like, I have no idea what the hell this is. Her eyes look really weird here. Um, this one looks really off. And yeah, um, later from the end of this experiment is practice does not always make perfect. Practice plus your mindset, which is really important, like the state that you're in and um, like you really have to want it. I think that and also having fun, I think that with practice is actually worthwhile because if you're doing just like this every day, but you're not seeing improvement, it definitely means that, yeah, you can't just keep on practicing that. You first need to acquire good habits and these good habits come from um, just spreading yourself widely. As artists, we do need to, a lot of things come together, like they are woven together and so we're missing that part. So we need to practice this part. We're missing another part, so we need to practice that part. And it gets really hectic. I think as an artist, it's just, it's like we can, do anything we can study anything but what do we do first what is the right order to do it how do we do it right so that's the key thing that we have to figure out that I have to personally figure out that is pretty much it from me I hope you guys found this ex little experiment very um, if not enlightened at least entertaining to see if you keep on practicing what will happen and obviously for some people I know you can probably get better and better but for me I deep proof so as an individual it means like I can't just practice and practice that doesn't work for me okay um if you yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment below your thoughts um subscribe to my channel i'm thinking about posting new and fresh com contents for you guys I comment and until next time don't give up keep working on your craft okay hugs and kisses